Volkswagen Group guests have never experienced a group night like this one. On the eve of IAA's opening day, Volkswagen hosted its traditional event for VIPs and journalists under a completely new concept. Instead of the customary event location, the show took place in the heart of the IAA, Hall 3 of Frankfurt's Fairground. That's where the brands presented their highlights. Audi's highlight is called Aiken. No pedals, no instruments, no steering wheel. That's what Audi's future might look like in 2030. The Aiken's first two letters signify the influence of artificial intelligence. And that's apt, since this is a genuine robot car, operating at level 5 of autonomous driving. All you do is get in, state your destination, and off you go. No driver, only passenger. Just like you have a friend to take you to everywhere and help you relaxing and uh, going everywhere and exchange uh, interactor, interaction of a driver and his car. Yeah, I like it. The Volkswagen brand is very close to launching the ID Cross. The concept car is slated for market introduction in 2020. Following the ID and ID Bus, Volkswagen is now presenting the third member of the ID family at the IAA, with an electric driving range of 500 kilometers. It's beautiful, looks good, very futuristic for sure. The steering wheel comes flying at you and everything is speech controlled. I hope it works out. Volkswagen launched the Roadmap E at the IAA. Not surprisingly, much of the Frankfurt Fair is about electromobility and alternative drive systems, including Porsche. Of course, that's the future, and Porsche strives to stay sporty and fast while becoming electric. It's quite exciting to see the Mission E car in the flesh. Volkswagen provides a different glimpse of the future in the form of the intuitive car finder. Clients enter a virtual showroom to watch a 90-second video. While watching, sensors measure subconscious reactions to the images being shown and then present the most suitable car for the viewer at hand. It's not as unpleasant as one might think wearing all those gadgets on your head. I was told to drive the e-Golf since I'm very conscious of the environment apparently. That's what the car finder found out. Had Juan Pablo Montoya ever sat in a car finder, he would have probably ended up with a Bugatti Chiron. The former Formula One pilot just set a world record in that car, going from zero to 400 kilometers per hour and back to zero in 42 seconds. I tell people when you're going in this car at 400, it's like going in a normal car at 200 or 180. It's incredible. There's nothing in a minute. It's very casual. That is insane. You, the thing you don't realize as you're going so fast, you got to pay a lot of attention because things are moving really, really quickly at 400. A lot has changed at the IAA this year, including the group night, a get-together and preview of the exhibition surrounded by the brands, from Skoda to Lamborghini and Bentley to Seat, for an audience of 1,500, in a relaxed atmosphere and lots of room. The new group night is better than the last edition because we have more time, more comfort, and we can do uh, each brand, model by model, and time to discuss with uh, uh, engineer, designer. Uh, for us, it's, it's a good idea to do like this. The future has started, quite visibly so for the visitors of Volkswagen's group hall at the IAA. Following the group night and press events, visitors can see it all for themselves until September 24th.